Hello, everyone, and welcome to Inside Xbox. We've got a huge show for you today, including a ton of great games coming very soon and the latest from Project X Cloud. Too true, Layer Bear. Whether you're into pillaging on the high seas in Atlas, challenging Satan to a drink off for your very soul in After Party, or finding your fortune in a capitalist space dystopia in the outer world, we've got games for everyone today. Everyone except for those who like to play games with our heart. Ah, oh, see, no singing, no singing, because then we'd have to teach Larry to dance, and nobody wants to see that. Fair point. Let's instead talk about another group of folks that tend to sing and dance a lot, pirates. Yeah, brilliant segue there, Kate. Thank you very much. Anyway, the game is called Atlas. It is a persistent open world pirate sandbox game that will challenge you to swashbuckle with the best of them. And it's coming to Xbox very, very soon. We're about to talk with Atlas's lead game designer, but first, we'll give you a head start on getting your sea legs with a new trailer for the game right now. October 8th, I had just enough time to get my eye patch tailored. And uh, wait, a pirate game on Xbox? Haven't we seen that before? All right, let's address the peg-legged elephant in the room. Yes, Sea of Thieves exists. It's awesome. But Atlas is really a very different type of experience. They're basically on opposite ends of the pirate spectrum, which is something that exists now. Basically, you have Jack Sparrow on this end of the spectrum, and on the other side is uh, Captain Phillips. Look at me. I'm the captain now. You remember that? Yeah. Maybe you don't. I might have chosen Kermit. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> to help us understand this more intense flavor of pirating lifestyle, we have Atlas lead game designer Eric Wannanen to tell us, well, all about Atlas. So, Eric, tell us all about Atlas. Sure, yeah. So, obviously, yeah, there are a lot of pirate offerings now. Um, there are a lot of things that differentiate us from, you know, other pirate games, though. Um, you know, we want to create the ultimate pirate experience. And so, Atlas is an online multiplayer survival pirate game. You know, it's it's a massive open world that thousands of players can connect to simultaneously. One of the coolest things that differentiates us, though, in the pirate space is that we actually provide a truly persistent world. So, if I build a ship or a base in one place and you visit that location, you'll actually be able to see exactly what I've built and you can interact with it too. You know, we've created this gigantic sandbox where we let players do pretty much whatever we want. We've given them the tools and freedom to do that in true pirate fashion. So, you know, if you're a player that wants to get all your friends together and create a fleet of pirate ships to then terrorize the seas, you can do that. If you want to claim an island and then build your own pirate hideout, you can also do that. Uh, you know, the, the world is truly your oyster when it comes to Atlas. Very good. I, I like the nautical theme there. I can't stop making those, those <laughs> little things, yeah. <laughs> so, I, you, you talked about sort of the scale of what you can do, but when, you, when you're talking about a pirate game, and there's certain things that you really expect. You want to battle sea creatures. You're going to want to pillage ships. You're going to want to lose all of your teeth because you don't have a, a fundamental knowledge of nutrition. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, can so, you ever do these things? Yeah, there's there's all those offerings and more, right? Including the the vitamin stuff and the the scurvy and whatnot. But you know, there's a lot of those classic moments that players are expecting too. Uh, Atlas at its core is a game about exploring, surviving, conquering the world with your friends and other pirates. But there's also those very iconic pirate moments: intense ship battles with cannons, um, you know, storming decks and clashing swords with other players, searching for buried treasure and wrestling it away from people that don't want to part with their booty. Um, even building your own bases and defending them or raiding 
raiding and looting other player bases. You know, that's just a handful of items that are those really classic pirate moments that players are expecting that are in Atlas. And there's a lot more that players can expect when they get into the game and actually play. So Atlas is freedom. It's not just what you can do in the game, but it's really how you can experience the game. There's a lot of options to how you can really interact with the world of Atlas. Right, yeah. It's, it's a very player goal-driven game, right? And so players set what they want to do and the stories that they want to tell in the game, and we give them the, the, the space and the tools to provide those stories for them to create. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about day one. You're launching into Xbox Game Preview. That's right. All right, so that means that's the beginning of this, this voyage for Atlas on Xbox. Exactly. What can, what can players expect on that first day? Right, so again, uh, you know, we are looking to get into uh, releasing on Xbox Game Preview on October 8th, so it's two weeks away. Um, you know, one of the things that we're really excited about is uh, crossplay support. So we're actually going to be having Atlas be crossplay enabled for both Xbox and PC on day one at launch. So players on both platforms will be able to play together in the exact same worlds on all of our official servers. Something else that we're working on is keyboard and mouse support for Xbox, so players can look forward to that. But the one thing we actually really wanted to make sure Xbox players understand is that when we launch um, Atlas on Xbox, it's actually going to have full game parity with Xbox and PC. That means that whenever we push an update or we release new content for the game, Xbox and PC will both get that simultaneously. It's not a different game for Xbox or a different game for PC. It's the exact same game across both platforms. You're saying a lot of the right things here. <laughs> so uh, let's 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 take out our, our, our spyglass and look sure. a little bit you know, forward down the line of the game preview voyage for Atlas. Uh, I'm thinking back to you guys made Ark Survival Evolved. Mm -hmm. And I had a really wild run through early access. I remember playing it on this first week out, and I think I was like bashing a fish with a rock <laughs> and then eating it raw, right. like, like a proper cave, cave person. Mm -hmm. uh, six months later, I saw people flying on the backs of pterodactyls firing SMGs, and I was like, how is this the same game? Sure, lots of changes over time, right? Exactly. So why don't you talk a little bit about some of the changes we can expect down the line with Atlas? Sure. So we're looking to follow a very similar approach with Atlas, right? Um, evolution over time, especially in game preview. Um, so basically how we're going to treat future updates for Atlas, we're going to be rolling them out in sort of multiple phases. And so each phase will have sort of a specific area of the game that we focus on and that we tailor or make improvements to. For example, the first update that we're going to be really focusing on once we release on the 8th is going to be sort of general upkeep stuff, quality of life improvements for the game, bug fixes, performance increases, those sorts of areas. But then after that, the, fo the area of focus we're going to have is that uh, the phase on seas, ships, and sailing updates. Ships and sailing are such an important part of Atlas. You know, it's really core to that pirate fantasy. And so we want to make them an even bigger part of the game than they currently are. So that means things like making ships easier to acquire and easier to sail, um, new additional types of encounters on the ocean, new activities for players to do on their ships. You know, we want players to be able to enjoy themselves even more when they're out on their ships. So we're going to be focusing on updates that target those areas specifically. But the most important part of all of this, honestly, especially in Game Preview, is going to be player feedback, right? So it's a continually evolving process. We want to get player input. And so we want to invite and encourage Xbox players to join us both in our official forums and on social media so they can also be a part of helping make Atlas that ultimate pirate experience together. All right, what is that website? What is that social media? Where can people find more? More about Atlas. Sure, so you can visit us on our official website at playatlas.com. We have an official Discord channel that players can join. They can chat in us. Sometimes devs drop in there too. And also on social media, you can find all the latest news and updates there as well. Eric, thank you so much. Now, before I let you go, I, I have to ask, mm -hmm. what did the ocean say to the pirate? Um, I don't know. Nothing. It just waved. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to cut my mic one. now, and actually, I really deserve that. So let me use my last moments here on the show to debut the newest trailer for Children of Morta. This game's an action RPG roguelite where you gradually meet and unlock more players of your, more members of your... <sighs>